Okay, I didn't actually bring much with me to the Ukraine, but what I did bring was a compressor. All right, um, it's a tandem cylinder. Um, 100 litres a minute, apparently, up to 120 psi. We haven't checked it yet on the truck tyre, but I'm not doing truck tyres. Um, 40 psi, or oh, sorry, 36 psi maximum on the, my vehicle anyway, so that's all right. It does work quite well. Attaches to the battery. All right. And uh, I uh, put an extension in with a little Anderson plug. All right. Fifty amp rated. This apparently should draw 45 amps max on the full load. And the full load meaning that it will actually, uh, when it's struggling to put the last bit of pressure into the tyre, it does say on here 12 volts. All right. It gets hot. All right. Now, since it's been hot in this country for uh, since we've been here, this has worked actually very well and it survived. Okay. Now. The adapter that I've got on here is for a Schrader valve, but also in the top, um, there's a few others. This one, I've uh, slightly adapted it to um, fit for our uh, bump up boat, inflatable dinghy for the sea. All right, and uh, there's also, if you're into football, I can get that, there's a needle, all right, um, do footballs with. So it's uh, not just for cars. It works actually very well. I'm uh, impressed with it. It survived anyway. 70 quid from uh, <coughs> Paddocks. Yeah, um, that's all right. You should have the engine running when you're pumping up your tires, but for, just for demonstration purposes. <laughs> you have your gauge here, which you need to switch off. Okay, so you can read the gauge on it, all right? You can't read it while it's pumping. Now, in this climate, um, the temperature is, a, a, the ambient temperature is a, a lot higher than what we'd have in the UK. They recommend to do your tyres cold. So, what I actually do is, um, first thing in the morning is check the tyre pressures when it's cool, all right, and then uh, it'll be all right to run. Um, you said it, you don't put it any higher pressure or any lower, it's the same as what you'd have, what the manufacturer recommends. In this case, I'm putting it to 36 all round. Alright, that's the, that's the maximum pressure. So uh, that was fairly quick. Um, with this uh, large valve on the side here, all right, I couldn't find anything to fit it. So I got some black tape and uh, adapted a valve. It was originally one of these. All right. Bonus also with this application, all right, you have a base plate with uh, rubbers on. Two are already missing. That's my fault because I'm quite ham fisted. But you also have these bolts with rubbers. You can remove this back plate and uh, fit it into somewhere like your uh, underseat box or if you've got a defender. However, because I've got a discovery, I've got to keep this set up as it is and um, keep it in a bag. All right, what I'm doing is letting this die down. We're then going to pump it up with the uh, air compressor and see how long it actually takes to, uh, to pump up to. Uh, 36 PSI. I'll drop the valve core out so that'll be completely flat.
Right, so what we've got here now is a completely flat tyre. I wouldn't recommend doing this too often, on, on, especially on a heavy vehicle. But, right, we'll put the valve core in, um, attach up the uh, compressor and see, uh, we'll time it to see how long it takes. Pressure test. This has actually come out at 40 pound foot. There's uh, one thing that isn't very good about this. Um, you can see the burn mark here. It's actually connecting it up to the battery. All right. Discovery is very close to the bodywork. Right. All right. On the edge of this tyre, there's a lot of information, um, speed ratings and such like. Down here, I've marked it in yellow, um, is your maximum pressure and maximum load on this one, 900 kilograms on this particular tyre, and uh, inflation uh, kilopascals 300 or 44 psi. All right. Around the rest here, mark it with chalk, you have all the relevant information you need for the time, all right. Not all of it um, relates to you. Some of it is uh, don't mount um, this tire and inflate over 44 psi, all right. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, the other tires are 36. This one happens to be 44, all right. That's the maximum pressure. Always check the manual for what your tire pressure should be. However, in our extreme situation, I put them, these to maximum pressure. Um, due to the road conditions. All right. Um, downside to a thing like this. Okay, this doesn't apply to Land Rover owners. This is um, transit twin wheel uh, vehicle owners. All right. You can't get in the valve on the outer tire. Okay. I actually made up my own kit. It's this. Okay. Fitting so I can get my outer tire pumped up. Now, this pipe in is air pipe, it bursts at about, um, let's see, 300 psi, which isn't a problem. Okay, I've also fitted adapter on there which fits straight onto the uh, machine itself. Mm. This is soft nylon tubing. If you get it hot, it'll burst. All right, you only need to put a cigarette near it and that'll, that'll burst under pressure. All right, it's domestic for domestic use only anyway. Um, if you're careful with it, this will last a lot longer. All right, just a couple of niggly things with this. Um, the head on here is actually plastic. You look further down than the body is as well, all right? Um, you can see here, um, something was dropped on it and snapped the fins off. All right, the other thing is the, uh, the gauge. That's not fantastic. It works out to be uh, 4 PSI out, um, checking the tyre pressure. We've got 40 PSI. I put 36 in on this gauge. In conclusion, um, this is actually a good piece of kit. I've been road testing it now for the last two years, and I have uh, three vehicles, 18 tyres to uh, regularly maintain, and it hasn't let me down yet. Uh, it's not a professional piece of kit, you can't run power tools off it, um, you need a receiver anyway to, uh, to run a power tool, but it does the job very efficiently and very quickly compared to some that you can buy at a cheaper price that aren't very good at all. We're not going to name any here, of course, but um, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd recommend this for uh, domestic use. <laughs>